I've been streaming on Twitch for about seven years. And to be honest with you, it's been up and down. Genuinely, I'll go from anywhere from like having, you know, a whole bunch of people to just being a little bit smaller. And genuinely, that's been just the story of everything. And that's okay, to be honest. I've had many different chapters. I've even stopped streaming for a little bit. But one consistent thing was the fact that I genuinely always played Splatoon. I have been playing Splatoon for as long as the series has been out at this point in time. I've been through many different thresholds of just playing Splatoon because I really enjoy the series. It's the only reason that they could ever get me to buy another Switch. Like, I'm not even joking. It's right behind me. I bought a Switch to never play it because I like Splatoon so much. I'm going to buy as many Amiibos as I possibly can. I just genuinely liked Splatoon. Now, throughout the years of my streaming, I will be honest, there were some times where anger got the best of me. And I will be real. I was a little bit overboard sometimes, but one of the things I will always say is that I kept it to my stream. And that's one of the things that I would always say is that I kept it to my stream. And that was really all it ever was. But as time went on, I had realized that there was weird interactions that were basically going on where I was getting hit with racist bots for a while. And it's been something very consistent throughout my whole career of just streaming. But one thing that's very noticeable is when I go stream another game, they for some reason aren't there as often. But when I stream Splatoon, I get just random follows with racist names in them, like I did yesterday when I decided to play Splatoon after I stopped for a few months because I'm gonna be real. I realized I needed a break from the competitive nature of Splatoon. I still like Splatoon. I still play Splatoon. I play with friends. But one of the things that I tried to stop doing was necessarily streaming it because I realized it was too much. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I'm gonna be real. While I think that like I can still play to at least be decent, not anything super crazy, but Sadly, it's just to a point where I felt that a lot of the frustrations that I was feeling were getting a little overboard. And that's really all it was. And I realized for myself, as a, especially as a person that was getting older, I needed to make a change. And I decided to make that change by trying to do other things. So now what I've been actively doing is I play casually. I play when friends get on. I play when an event happens with Splatoon. I still follow along with Splatoon. I still watch Splatoon streamers all the time. I'm always in people's chats. I still actively enjoy the game of Splatoon. But at this point in time, I realized for myself that there are certain things that I can't do on a consistent basis. And that's really it. It's not changing that. As you've noticed, even in my videos, I still talk about Splatoon. It may not be the main topic of my video. And that's really all it is. I'll still have them in my videos. And I would really urge you guys that watch me for just Splatoon to, you know, check out my other stuff. There's a lot of things that I talk about just in the gaming world and what topics I bring to this part of YouTube. And to be honest, I used to actively really enjoy streaming. I'll be honest, there was a point in time where I used to stream 10 to 14 hours a day. To be honest, I don't think I can ever do that again. And I'm gonna be real. It's not something that I, I would even do now. I did it a little bit before, but to be real with you guys, I actively did it because I wanted more for Splatoon and I enjoy Splatoon. I will probably be talking about Splatoon until the day I die. That's really it. I'm thankful for Nintendo every day for the game. I have frustrations and that's perfectly fine, but I don't think that anything that I've done genuinely deserves the racism that I'll receive in this. And it's not the whole community, and I know that. I know that certain things come along, and I can understand if people made fun of the fact like, yo, why is bro always wearing a do-rag? Is he going bald? No, I got a full head of hair. Yo, why bro always got his face up in the camera? Yo, why bro yapping about this today? I'd be perfectly fine with that. If people were to do that, I don't really care. Why bro wearing the same color hoodie? Is he wearing the same hoodie in every single video? No, I got like 10 black hoodies. I'm not even joking with you. but. I would be perfectly fine with that. That stuff is just like, hey, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. But when it comes to internet harassment for racism, I think that it's a little bit insane. And it's something that I think that personally, a lot of these establishments need to do something about. First of all, I understand that things are going to happen. I understand interactions are going to be said. When people say that like, hey, bro, 
you look like myth bro i look nothing like myth can you pull up a picture right now i look nothing like myth there is nothing about me that look i don't even sound like the guy now on top of that or relating to somebody else uh, whatever i just say i say that i make a joke about it i'll be like yo bro are you racist like is that really what it is and genuinely if they take it to heart that's their fault but nine times out of ten it's usually a joke People would say like, yo, bro, you remind me of Etika. I am nothing like Etika. I'm going to say that. Etika is an amazing content creator. Rest in peace always. But you have to understand, I am, we are not nothing alike, bro. Like at all. There's nothing similar. So to be honest, I've realized that like when it comes to certain interactions and just certain things, it's why I'll lash out for certain things. It's why I'll speak up about it. I don't understand the point of not speaking up about these things. What is the point of letting people come? Come to your chat and consistently do these things these are gross interactions that if people were really worried about saving children they would really help with these situations and speak up about them because nobody on a website should have to deal with these type of things if i go to any other platforms i don't it's not normal at all it is not normal to get racist interactions on a daily basis there is nothing normal about this and I'm sorry that I'm getting a little bit elevated, but I've realized it and watched it in just certain corners. And that is why actively, if you know me within the Splatoon community, I will reach out to a lot of the black players because of the fact that I want to make sure that they are good. Some of the interactions that go on are absolutely insane. There is no reason why anybody has to deal with this. So I am always going to use my platform to speak up about it. It is not normal. It is not an experience that somebody should have to go through. In 2024, it is gaming. If somebody gets mad and says, why did bro throw? It's talking about the game, bro. As I said, people can have their opinions. People can dislike that. I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm okay with disagreeing. My whole channel is about me talking about things and trying to find the best view possible. That is why I talk about a lot of the things that I talk about. That is why I do what I do when it comes to the gaming space. So I just like to talk about the issues that will go on in the gaming space along with the games in the gaming space. This is something that I've wanted to do my whole entire life, genuinely. I've wanted to have the opportunity to speak to people and let people know about my love for games and my love for Nintendo. Because as you've noticed, I genuinely enjoy Nintendo games and I, en I enjoy streaming them. I have so much fun being able to like talk to people interacting with people but these interactions make people want to stream less it's annoying and i know that possibly this video won't stop anybody but what i'm hoping for is for more of these social media outlets to actually actively do something there are kids that are coming into into interaction that i didn't see as a team you had to actively search for them and for those of you that may have come along with it it is not normal i want you to understand that you should not be being made fun of first of all for your skin and you should not be seeing the imagery that we are seeing especially with ai and everything i don't understand why i don't understand why it needs to happen for a lot of us we just want to stream we just want to have fun we just want to game and that's really all it is and actively there are a lot of great black players in splatoon and a lot of people that in all honesty people should really listen to and give them a little bit more support but that's just not happening and it's sad to say that i don't know if it will ever change but i'm going to speak up for it i'm going to talk about it i'm going to say something about it and i will never let people put me in a box because of it so all in all just to say the reason why i stopped is just because it got to be too much that's all it really is i think that splatoon's matchmaking can be a little much at this point right now and I've realized for myself, for me to enjoy the game, I play it super casually while playing other games. And I think that that is the best direction for me to go at this point in time. And that's it. It allows me to still talk about Splatoon and then still talk about Nintendo games, which are all under the same umbrella. You all play Nintendo games. So as I said, please, let's try to change these things. Let's speak up. Let's not allow these things to happen because if you speak up for others, they will speak up for you also. Please speak up for others and don't forget to go on a walk. Catch you guys later. Have an amazing day. Peace out.